Today, we're going to paint the Lord of Thunder, Thor Odinson. With Thor already primed black, I'm coating him with some of Citadel's Contrast Ultramarine Blue. I'm not the biggest fan of contrast paints, but in this case, I just wanted that dark blue undertone for his uh, smock. While the contrast paint dries, I'm using some Vallejo Light Grey. I'm just dry brushing it onto the base using a makeup brush that I picked up at the dollar store. Then. I do the ring around the base using some Vallejo Surface Primer, uh, just some black around the ring like I do most of my miniatures. With the contrast paint now dry, I'm coating it with Nuln Oil just to give it those shadows. Next is a dry brush of Vallejo French Blue all over the smock. Just make sure that you wipe most of the paint off of your brush. After that, without even washing the brush, I'm adding some Vallejo Light Sea Blue and doing another coat of dry brush. Next up is the Lord of Thunder's pants. I'm using Army Painter War Paints Wolf Grey. I'm using an extremely fine brush for this. As you can see, there's not a lot of room to, to get the brush in there, making sure that I don't get any on the smock uh, or the boots. Speaking of the boots, I'm using Vallejo Model Air Dark Grey Blue. For his skin, I tend to like using P3's Midland Flesh. It's a pretty pink colored flesh, but it works well on both male and female uh, figures, I find. To shade the flesh, I'm using Citadel's Reichlin Flesh Shade. And I'll let the uh, flesh shade dry. During that time, I'm going to shade the boots using Nuln Oil. For the small little shield-like circles on Thor's armor, I'm not even sure what they're called. Um, I could have gone with a metallic color. I decided to do a little bit of a non-metal metal type look using Vallejo model colors light gray. Now, on his boots, he's got these straps, and I decided to paint them with Velo Game Colors Scruffulous Brown, just to get a little bit of that golden color on him. for leather I used Citadel's Doom Bull Brown but in this case I wanted something a little bit softer looking so I went with uh, their Gorthor Brown. Here I'm adding a little bit of Agrax Earthshade to the straps on his boots just to shade them and darken them a bit. with those shield things I added a bit of Nuln Oil just to shade them and darken them a bit. To continue with the non-metal metal look I grabbed more of the Vallejo light grey and started painting his winged helmet, being very careful not to get any on his face or any of the other details. I also went back and highlighted the tops of those shield disc things this adds the bit of shine to give it that metal look. Finally, I'm painting Mjolnir with the same light grey. To 
time for a bit of Nuln Oil Wash all over the uh, helmet and Mjolnir. At this point, I started wondering if I actually assembled the model properly. Um, I'm, I grabbed some of the Scrofulous Brown, painted the belt buckle, and turned them around to look at the hair. There's a big gap between the hair and the helmet. I wasn't sure if this was fur on his cloak or the hair. So for the tougher leather of the handle for Mjolnir, I'm now using the uh, Doomble Brown. Uh, this brown with a bit of Nuln oil looks so good. It really looks like a leather that's been handled for a while. With most of the miniature now painted and with pretty similar tones, the part that's going to make him pop out is the cloak. I'm using Citadel's Mephiston Red. I'm doing a very light watered down coat to start because um, I want to make sure that the red is really nice and uniform. Now to emphasize the depth, I'm going to add a wash of Arax Earthshade over the entire cloak. Time for a bit of highlights on the all the non-metal metal parts. You'll rarely see me use pure white, but in this case, because I'm already at a light gray, a little bit of white on the top of the winged helmet, uh, top of the hammer and those shieldy things uh, will make it really look like it's shining. Now that the cloak coat of uh, Agrax Earthshade is dry, I'm going to go back and repaint all of the raised flat areas where the sun would be hitting, uh, just with some pure Mephiston Red. Uh, this might require a few coats. Uh, red is one of those colors, kind of like yellow, that are tend to be hard to apply properly. So I'm just taking my time and finding those flat edges and redoing the red on there. Now that he's done, last part is to glue him to his base. There you have it, the Lord of Thunder, Thor Odinson. Well, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to click like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. That way, you can stay up to date with our unboxing videos, our painting tutorials, our reviews, and soon enough, battle reports. Thanks again, and see you soon.